dreamed about nothing else other than you I always thought I'd be waiting I can stay till the morning, stay till the dawn, but just hold me now. I wanna be so much better whenever you're around. I wanna say something clever to get in your mind. Cause right now we're not together, and I lose my way then. Oh, I feel so much better. Whenever you're around, whenever you're around, yeah, yeah, whenever you're around, whenever you're around. Is it too late to feel you? Is it too late to tell you? About how much I'm sorry For the things I have done For the things I never did But I promise, dear, I'll never let you go So don't let go Get close to me Oh, don't let go my lovelies welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog i hope you guys are all doing really well so i feel like i've had a productive morning and um, me and brady got up really early we had our pt which is good we're doing a lot of pts at the minute and like classes and stuff and it's feeling really good i'm just really tired and i just feel like we don't really stop but i'm enjoying it and obviously it's my choice i'm just trying to you know become the best version of myself this year and i know i can push myself i just get scared too so it's good to have like Bradley to help and like push myself and obviously Reese, who's our like fitness and um, basically life coach and um, so both of them have been really helping me at the minute so it feels really nice I'm feeling in a really good place I hope you guys are all doing really well let me know how you are in the comments down below I'm sorry if the lighting keeps changing whenever I stand up I don't know if it's because I like walk around a little bit Oh, I think I need to be in front of the lamp. That's a bit better. But the lighting goes a little bit funny. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, how are you doing? Let me know in the comments down below. So in today's video, I wanted to have a lovely home vlog with you. It's actually pancake day today. And I am very excited. Me and Brady are going to make pancakes later. So I can do that with you all. And I'm the kind of person, I like Nutella and strawberries on my pancakes. What do you guys like? Bradley's like a peanut butter and banana kind of person. He also suggested bacon. I'm not a kind of like bacon fan with pancakes. I like them sweet. <laughs> Nutella is usually my go-to or like white chocolate. Mm, that's like my favourite. So yeah, let me know what your favourite one is down below and if you ate a lot. So I've been asking you guys a lot on my Instagram what videos you want to see and like what you want to see more of in my vlogs. Because I've had a few comments recently and I don't know if these are like constructive criticism because... I can take that and I I actually like it when it's from followers that watch me all the time like I really do appreciate it but when it's from people that watch me a few times and they're kind of watching to hate I just I, I'm not sure how I feel about that but anyway I don't know I was reading some comments and some of you were saying we want to see more from your videos and I completely get it it's hard I think because I just pick up the camera I'm very authentic like I literally just put you guys on a tripod press film and then I'll show you guys you know what I'm eating that day what I'm doing that day stuff that I've bought and things like that but I completely agree like I don't want it to become really repetitive and I think it's really nice to have your input as well so it's really nice especially on Instagram because I feel like if you guys watch me a lot on here and then you also support me on my other like social media platforms it really does mean the world to me and I can just really see that it means that you guys like to follow me and see what I'm up to and look at my outfits and all that kind of stuff so I really really love it but yeah I asked you guys on my Instagram yesterday what you want to see more of and 
honestly so many of you guys wrote in amazing requests a lot of them were like organization um loads of you want to see my jewelry collection which i was really surprised about but i would happily do a lot of it is to do with my fitness journey weight loss um, meal ideas meal prep ginger and lemon like there was so many so i thought you know what let's just start today let's start today i can get all of your guys inspiration as well and i'm really looking forward to it this morning me and buddy had a pt i didn't film it because i have filmed it before like do you guys want to see more of my workouts more if you do please let me know in the comments and if you do i can obviously film them for you um, and then i came home i had a bath because my muscles the best way for me to help my muscles obviously is like stretching and walking and stuff but having a bath oh my god i couldn't recommend it enough so i had a bath and it just i feel a lot better now um and then i made my smoothie bar i also put that on my instagram story and all of you were like how did you make it so i would have popped a screenshot from my fitness pal um, where i vlogged it in and you can see like the calories and like the ingredients and stuff that i use in case you guys wanted to copy it yourself because it tastes amazing the actual smoothie bowl itself is my same recipe that i use for my smoothies by the way so just wanted to clear that up anyway a lot of you said that you wanted to see like organization spring hauls was very requested and i'm very happy about that um like clothes organization and all that kind of stuff so your wish is my command um i ordered last night loads of coat hangers because i mean we're in that kind of awkward weather at the minute where it's like it's really cold outside still so obviously we want to like wrap up warm and stuff but then we could have an odd day where it's a little bit like warmer so then it's nice to have spring stuff so it's really hard i also bought bags from ikea and if you watched that in my last video you would have seen so in maybe i'm just trying to think when i want to sort out my winter wardrobe but whenever i do sort out my winter wardrobe we can do that together um i much prefer putting my winter wardrobe away than my summer wardrobe because I don't have as many like big coats and scarves, like faux fur things and stuff. It takes up so much room in the wardrobe. Whenever I've got my spring summer stuff in, I can fit so much more in. It's great. So I thought we could do that together. Oh, don't you love like new hangers? I'll pop a link to these down below. Um, these are the velvet ones from Amazon. Can't get enough of them. I have them in all different colors and I love them. I have a massive parcel here, which is very heavy. And I picked up loads of new spring bits and I thought I could show you guys. Um, I'm gonna pop it on the hangers and then pop it on my rail and have a little sort out because it is very needed. So this portion of today's video is actually really kindly in collaboration with Shein. I worked with them so much over like last year and the year before. And I really love their pieces. A lot of you guys also asked me to film a lot more hauls of Shein, but I thought I could just incorporate it into my vlogs because i think it just makes it a little bit more casual and i can try stuff on for you guys so i'm really excited about it you can use my code emmy rose i'll pop it on the screen um, and also in the description box down below and you'll get 15 percent off everything which is amazing i'll also pop links to all of these incredible items in the description box as well in case you guys wanted to shop um so first off we have this cap guys how lovely is this the quality as well is amazing. So this is Brooklyn, New York. Um, and then in here as well, if I remember correctly, I picked up the little canvas bag as well. These canvas bags are so in at the minute and I'm so here for it. I love it. So I thought this is a really cute little matching set to have. Really nice to wear with like gym wear and stuff like that. You can bung loads of stuff in. I think it's great. Okay, so next up, this gold chain here as you guys can see isn't a necklace i don't know if you can tell what it is from here and um, but this is actually to go on sunglasses so oh my god i love them i'm such a sunglasses lover honestly i wear them to death especially in the spring summer it's just my favorite although i need to find like a new hack of how to not get the sunglasses mark on your face do you guys know what i mean it's so annoying obviously you can wear this around your head kind of like that like that way um and then you can take them off and they'll kind of fall but how nice are these actual sunglasses so pretty and the case is really sturdy as well which is really handy to keep them in so i love them okay next up we have this gorgeous jumper and it's kind of like a square neckline and it goes over and i thought this is really nice it's a nice transitional kind of piece this is so soft the material really soft um, I love the colour, I love the fact that it's ribbed as well, um, and I really love the square neckline, I think it's really, really flattering as well, it kind of looks like that, 
which is really cute so i love that top i picked up this gorgeous gym jacket which i'm obsessed with i love this color honestly i'm really happy with this because this is a little bit thinner than ones that i have but in a good way do you know ones where you just kind of want to throw one you don't want to get too hot but make a really big difference um, and this will go with all of my like gym wear outfits which is so handy oh i like this so i picked up this sleeveless it's kind of like a blazer vest kind of style um, but I really like the look of it. I like how you can wear like long sleeves in it as well. Um, or just like this on its own. Really nice trousers go well with this as well. Um, and I really like the buttons in it. And the colour of this is lovely. So I'm happy with that. Oh my god. I don't think I've felt leggings like this before. These are thick but like not in like a bad way to be like too thick. But these are probably the most insane quality leggings I have ever seen. I want to try and get a close up. Can you guys see the texture of them? It kind of changes. Wow. I'm really impressed with these. That's insane. So they're really amazing quality leggings. I think these ones are gym wear ones, um, which is really handy. So I can actually wear it with this, which makes me very happy. So as you guys know, I love loungewear pieces, exhibit A. Um, so this next piece is a set. This is so slinky and like insane material. So it's ribbed, looks like that. It's a slight balloon sleeve, so that's the top. And then the bottoms, I'm so obsessed, are like this. And then they just go out. I love them. Oh my God, I'm fully obsessed with that. This material is insane. It's like heavy. Oh my God, I really love that. And I like the color. It's like a little bit darker to what I'm wearing now, but very similar, so love them. I can't tell you how excited I am. So, some of my favourite gym wear is from a brand called Glow Mode. I worked with them a lot last year and I'm actually working with them again this year. And there's this pair of leggings that I have from them, which are these. I wear them to death. Honestly, I put a black wash on the other day and it was the smallest wash ever, but it's because I wanted to wear these again. These are like the most buttery soft material. So they actually cross over at the front. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it crosses over at the front. They are so stretchy and comfortable. And the material is so soft. And they wash really nicely as well. Um, I literally pop them on a 40. I mean, I don't know if you're meant to. But that's what I do. And they come out the same. So I can't recommend these enough. Like if you're looking for really good quality gym wear. Glow Mode is the way forward. And she and own it. Okay. And then, <laughs> this is another pair of leggings from Glow Mode as well. And again, I actually have these and I wanted to get another one because I think they're, I think I've literally just washed them. I wear them so much um, and I'm yet to find a brand that compares to these. I've just bought some stuff from Adnoda, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna test them out. Um, but the color of these ones are beautiful. And again, they are so soft and they're not see-through as well. Like at all it's insane i like even the lighter version it's amazing okay i'm very excited about these um i also picked up these which are another pair of gym wear leggings again the quality is insane but how gorgeous is this print and even with that jacket oh that i showed you guys like how nice would this look together as like a cute little set i thought this jacket as well i can really mix and match um, but I really like that and it's got the little ruche detailing at the bum. I mean, all the gym stuff I wear though does cover my bum so that doesn't really benefit me. But if that's your kind of thing, it has that. These are really stretchy as well, which is amazing. Um, and they feel very lovely and supportive. So really like them leggings. I love that colour. Is this to match the... Oh no, I think this is slightly different. But how gorgeous is this tee? So I thought I could wear this t-shirt with these gym leggings. How cute is that? I've already got the sports bra in this, um, the Glow Mode one, so I could just wear that underneath. Um, but a nice oversized tee, you really can't go wrong, and I like the font um, and the color of this as well. It feels really lovely and soft. I feel like at this point, my wardrobe is like literally active wear, and a couple of spring bits, and then loungewear. <laughs> That is literally what it is at the minute, but I do need to sort it out and like, not chuck, but 
put in storage um, all my like winter stuff. Um, I also picked up this jacket in this gorgeous like mocha kind of colour as well which is similar, I think it's exactly the same style actually to this one that I showed you guys but I will need to get it in this colour as well. You can never have too many of these honestly. I chuck them on. I wear gym wear as loungewear sometimes. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't always have loungewear like this on. I think on days, especially my Sunday, Sunday attire for me is active wear because do you know when you need to nip out to the shop, you need to do this, you need to do that. You're ready to go. You've got your gym wear on. It's all good. It's like you can conquer the world when you've got gym wear on like that. Oh my God, I'm so happy with these. So my favourite trousers that I wear to death um, and I wore all summer last year and like I literally wear them now are my Shein trousers. Now they're like a really nice like light beige kind of colour. I wear them with like a vest top and then a blazer and that's just my go-to look. And I know that Shein really do the best trousers. So I saw these white ones. The elasticated band is very helpful. It's got a little drawstring here. These have pockets and then they're so floaty and they go out like that. So they're very like spring summer kind of staples and it comes in a set obviously i wouldn't do it buttoned up it's like a cropped shirt which is really cute i mean personally i'd probably wear it with like a vest and then a blazer but this is a really nice alternative i think things like this in my opinion look nice i would wear it so you tuck this in and then a little bit more open then you can kind of do up the middle. Does that make sense? I think that's how I would wear it. Oh, I love this. This is just a classic staple for your wardrobe. It's a square neck, plain black tee, really good to wear, even with like trousers, leggings, gym wear, anything like that. This is a classic and the material is so soft. And then lastly, I saw this bag. And I actually got one similar. I think I got this in the black last year. And I thought I need to get it in this colour for spring summer. Because this is exactly what I want. Hold on. Let me just undo the wrapper. So this is what the bag looks like. It's a gorgeous tote bag. And it has a zip. I mentioned maybe last video or the video before. I got a tote bag. And I was like the one thing that I wish it had was a zip at the top. Because... You know when you're out and about and you like, someone's hand could easily go in there. It's got a zip, which is perfect. And I love the colour of it. It is, it's like a khaki beige kind of colour. Beautiful and amazing quality as well. So I'm really happy with this. And this is a really nice size. It will like fit my work stuff in as well, which is really cute. So pleased with this. So yeah, a massive thank you to Shein for partly sponsoring this portion of today's video. I would have put links to everything that I showed you guys in the description box down below in case you guys wanted to check them out. And the gym wear is always going to be a staple for me. Love the sunglasses. I'm trying to like pick my favourites, but I really love them all. So I'm really excited to bring you guys monthly hauls again as you guys asked. And yeah, I'll pop links to them in the description box down below. Anyway, I need to organise all of this, so let's do that. And I've also ordered another rail, which is coming this evening. So I think I'll have to do that this evening because my wardrobe room at the minute, because my wardrobe room has like my winter stuff in at the minute and because I do need it because some days are like really cold and then other days it's a little bit warmer. I mean, it is getting warmer, but I think in a good few weeks I can properly sort it out. So I just bought a 12 pounds rail from Argos which is coming this evening so then I can like hang stuff up temporary because a bit messy at the minute I'm looking out from my window sun's coming up like the day before you're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door So I've just got changed um, because I wanted to show you guys my gym wear um, or my active wear. So these are the leggings I was talking to you guys about from Glow Mode. They've got the little logo here. I can't even explain to you. They are the most buttery soft flattering leggings i own i can't even explain to you guys they are so soft um this jacket 
is the matching like jacket that goes with it it doesn't come with it but obviously it's like the set so you buy it separately um obviously this isn't from the haul that i showed you guys today but you can get them both from glow mode as well which is obviously on shein um, and i'm obsessed and i wear it all the time so i thought i could show you guys anyway i'm about to get in the car and head to starbucks and um, because we basically run out of coffee here and I need to do more stuff like this and I'll explain why in the car because yeah hold on <laughs> let me get my other battery so I can actually talk to you in the car I just let the dogs out for a wee um, and I've had this delivery which is very exciting I bought it all myself um, but these are from my proteins where I got the impact whey protein in the flavor vanilla what is your favorite flavor of this let me know in the comments I've gone through a whole one of these already <laughs> nicest thing Ever. If you love Nutella, but you're looking for like a white chocolate kind of version of spread, it's not hazelnut, but I can't, like honestly, I wasn't expecting this to be that nice. It's insane. Um, so I have this all the time. Like I put like a teaspoon with my ice cream. It's amazing. And then this is for Bradley, which has got loads of protein in it. It's like water. It's really cool. So I thought I could show you guys that. I'll put the TV in the room. We'll have a Netflix marathon. So guys, I'm now in the car and like I said, I'm going to go to Starbucks. I basically need to top up on my favourite blonde espresso blend <laughs> coffee um, which me and Bradley have ran out of and we've been very sad about um, and I also just feel like a coffee I don't do this all the time by the way this is the first time in so long that I've just driven because I kind of want a coffee because usually obviously I make it from home um, but this isn't the only reason so I also need to try and like push myself out my comfort zone more and I hope this helps any of you that kind of like feel the same none of you guys know but I do have anxiety and it's something that I deal with on a daily basis I can't explain to you like it's not as bad as it used to be even like straight after lockdown oh my god it was so bad but I've like completely come out the other end of it um, I feel so much better I can't even explain to you like I feel like a different person I am in like such a better place with myself and my mind and my mental kind of state but something that I do need to do a lot is like get out in the day go and pop and get a coffee it's not a big deal but it kind of not only does it break up my day it gets me in the car it's good for like my head and my anxiety gives me a little bit of a break I think as well when you work from home you don't actually have any breaks do you if you think about it like I don't really have like a lunch break or anything um, and obviously I work from home so I'm not trying to like it's my choice and all that kind of stuff it's just important for me to just get out every now and then you know pop for a coffee things like that and I think it will really help me and my mind I'm about to go into a tunnel so it's very dark I just wanted to share this in case any of you you know work from home it's just so easy to get used to your comfort zone and every now and then it's good to kind of step outside a little bit you don't have to completely step out but just a little bit of like a little bit of a toe step out a little bit and i promise you you feel so much better so yeah we're gonna get a coffee but also gonna get a bag of coffee so i can make coffees at home again and i'm excited I'm viewing this in more of like a positive way and i'm looking forward to it so time for my afternoon coffee <laughs> Okay, so I have myself a large ice brown sugar espresso thing. <laughs> it's my favorite drink from Starbucks, honestly. I get it every time I go. It's just so good. And I get it with blonde roast. Get that drink, but get it with blonde roast and thank me later. Um, and then I picked up my favorite blonde roast espresso. Do you know when you look at it and you're like, oh my God, is that decaf? Because <laughs> I need all the caffeine I can get. Um, so yeah. Let's now drive home. 
I'm very happy with my coffee. Um, and then Bradley should be home in about two hours. I love pancakes. I feel like pancakes for me are like, kind of like my guilty pleasure, to be fair. <laughs> Anything sweet <laughs> is my guilty pleasure with like chocolate and stuff in. Yes, please. That's literally like my favorite. Um, but pancakes, oh, something about it, especially homemade ones are my absolute favourite so I'm really excited to make them tonight with Bradley um, and have like Nutella and stuff as you guys know I am in a calorie deficit at the minute so I'm on like set macros that have been set by uh, mine and Bradley's like coach slash PT and I can only eat like a certain amount of calories I'm not going to say how much because I think it's different for everyone and I think if you want to know like how much you should be eating in a day there are loads of sites um, I think Bradley done it for my mum online or even like if you want to sign up with Reese, you don't have to be local to where I live. You can live anywhere in the world and just do the online coaching and he'll give you stuff to do in the gym, um, your food plan, the calories and macros and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I really recommend Reese, obviously, because we've already used him all last year and all this year and we wouldn't have been able to lose weight without him. So yeah, he is the biggest part to why we've both lost weight. But yeah, I ate like a really late breakfast slash lunch so like a brunch um, and then I'm gonna hold off have dinner and then have all the pancakes because that's what I want I don't want to have any restrictions in my diet I don't want to have a diet where it's like oh my god you can't eat that but I like how we do it so it's like I can eat that as long as it's within my macros which makes me very happy so I never have the urge to like binge or anything so top tip for you guys <laughs> So I'm with Reese. Um, anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee, my drive home, literally, <laughs> 10 minutes. This is so needed though, this coffee. Honestly, I wish I could make it like this at home, but I can't. And I can't find any of the brown, oh, the brown sugar thing, like the syrup. They use the syrup instead of actual brown sugar. So it's like, how, where can I get that? <laughs> I've looked it everywhere and I can't find a syrup. But I make it brown sugar and it's fine. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll talk to you guys when I get home. so happy with it um so if you watch my ikea vlog which i think is my last video i bought this little pot and then also these tulips and i finally put them in the vase how cute are they and look at this little pot i think that's the cutest thing ever this is so spring and i'm so here for it i love it oh my god this is so cute good morning my love please so it is now the next day i'm really sorry about my appearance I have got ready in about two minutes today and I'm not even joking. It's just been a rush. Me and Brady have got a class later on and we woke up this morning and we were like, we're just not gonna have any time to like get a workout in or anything. So we went back to sleep and then woke up late, which is very annoying. I mean, it's fine. Like we've got a class later, it's all good. But yeah, it has been a rush um, and I've put on my outfit that I was wearing yesterday afternoon but it's not dirty because I literally just wore yesterday afternoon and yeah I am tired today I'm not gonna lie to you so last night I completely forgot to show you guys our pancakes I'm really sorry it's the most simple recipe ever but because Bradley had his friends around we were like quickly doing it um so I'm really sorry that I forgot to show you guys but I am about to go and get my nails done so I hope you know that can make up for it because I know you guys would like to see every time I get my nails done um, and I'm really excited about it so I'm gonna see my sister it's three past eight right now and I'm meant to be there you know minus three minutes ago but it's fine hopefully she won't be annoyed at me 
We'll see though, you know what siblings are like. So yeah, I'm excited to get my nails done. Oh my God, she's calling me. Hi, I'm literally two minutes away. Phew, okay, she's all good. <laughs> Do you know when you're like, oh no. But yeah, I'm very excited to get my nails done with you guys. Um, the thing is, I don't even know what I want to get done yet. So <laughs> I've taken loads of screenshots last night from pictures that I think that I want, but it's really hard. I just don't know. So we'll see. We'll see when I get there. I'll show her all my inspo pics and then see what she says. in the car again I feel like a lot of this vlog is me in the car <laughs> I hope that's okay although you do always say you want to see more like drive with me's and stuff so I'm doing it although I think is that all right I hope it's all good so I'm currently in the car obviously um, and I am on my way to go meet my friend Rosie so Rosie is my PT's girlfriend and we've known each other for so long and we get on like a house on fire we just haven't met up so last week we were like right let's make a conscious effort to arrange plans we've arranged to meet for coffee um, and I'm really excited because like I said we get on so well um, and she's so sweet, so I'm really excited about that. I think it'll be really nice. And I haven't had a coffee this morning, obviously, because we're going for a coffee, so it's very needed. Also, apologise that there's a lot of car footage in this vlog. I hope that's okay. Although, if you say to me, you do want to see a lot more like car videos and stuff like that, so I hope it's all good. I'm gonna drive along and and have some coffee. I haven't even shown you guys my nails properly yet from yesterday, so I promise you, I'll do that today because um, they are so cute. They're very like spring and easter and i think they're really cute so yeah i'll show you guys that at some point today as well but i'm excited for coffee and i'm excited to meet up with rosie finally so i am now home um my lipstick has come off just seen i think i'm all good basically got out of the car there was a delivery man <laughs> outside the house so I was frantically putting everything in. I have like a big bag that I just grabbed. <sighs> my breath. Put it all in, including this camera. Put it over my shoulder, turned around to lock the door. And I had <coughs> in this one on the floor. <laughs> so I was thinking, oh my God, please don't be broken. But I think we're okay. I think we're still in business. I think it's all good. Um, coffee was really nice. Um, like I said, I was meeting my friend Rosie. We were just having such a big chat. Um, and catch up and stuff like that and I took my camera out to film and I forgot to film and also the um, <laughs> coffee place we went to is so nice it's called Wolf Fox we both thought we were going to go to the other one like another coffee shop so we walked in and we were like oh they've like changed it around but they hadn't we just both got it wrong and it was the most quiet coffee shop ever so we were like trying to talk and like have a catch up and stuff um, but it was very quiet um, but it is now one o'clock I am starving i haven't eaten a thing today not on purpose it just time just went by so i'm gonna make myself some lunch um let me show you my nails as well so these are my nails how cute are they really different for me as i'm sure you guys know um but i really like it we went for like a nudie sagey green kind of marbly kind of effect with a bit of gold and i thought it was really nice for spring um so yeah very cute what do you guys think let me know in the comments different for me let me zoom in and you guys can see close up it is very different for me but i do really like it so very pleased come on then <laughs> also this part is so annoying we literally paint it all the time it's so frustrating i think it's just my other dogs come in and out um so yeah we do need to repaint that how are you feeling today luna and lottie how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Are you playing with your toy? Is this your toy? Come on 
then. <laughs> wow. You love your toy. Go get it. Oh.